children today we are going to see about uh, numerical solution of ordinary differential equations difference uh, in that uh, we have to see the problem number 2 so for before that we need to know about the formula that is y i dash can be written as y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 divided by 2 h and y i double dash can be written as y i minus 1 plus y i plus 1 minus 2 y i divided by h square and h equal to b minus a divided by n and n equal to b minus a divided by h so we have to enter the questions using the finite difference method solve d square y by d x square equal to y in 0 comma 2 given y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 2 equal to 3.6 3 um, subdividing the range into 4 equal parts here the given is y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 2 equal to 3.63 and we have to subdividing the that is n equal to 4 and this d square y divided by d uh, we are now moving to the solution part that is d square y divided by dx square can be written as y double dash equal to y and um, if we take this means y double dash minus y equal to 0 and y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 2 equal to 3.62 here uh, the a value the because the value lies between 0 and 2 so the value here is a and 0 is a and b is 2 so the first equation will be written as y i uh, we have to replace the y into y i because we have to substitute the various terms so y i da dash minus y i equal to 0 and and um, the first equation will become as y i double dash minus y i equal to 0. Instead of y i dash, we know that the formula that is y i dash is uh, i double dash is y i plus 1 plus y i minus 1 uh, minus 2 y i divided by h square. So we have to substitute this uh, uh, formula and uh, we have to simplify means this h square will go this side means we get this value and uh, it can be written as y i plus 1 as it is uh, and here both y i and 2 y i are common so if we take uh, uh, sorry if we consider this one this two uh, why I take as common means we get um, minus also we get taken as common means we get h square plus 2 y i and this is plus uh, y i minus 1 equal to 0 we have uh, we know that the equal parts have we have four equal parts that means n equal to 4 and the range is 0 to 2 so how we split means uh, we know the formula that is h equal to b minus a divided by n so b is 2 minus 0 divided by 4 that is h equal to 1 by 4 so we have to split the interval into half so 0 uh, plus half is 0 0.5 plus half is 1 and plus half is 1.5 plus half is 2 so 1 2 3 4 we have 4 intervals and the h value is uh, half 1 by 2 so substitute h equal to 1 by 2 in this equation and instead of i we have to substitute 1 and uh, we have n equal parts so we have to substitute the i that is uh, the equal parts less than 1 is 3 so we have to substitute uh, uh, i equal to 1 up to 3 so because our n value is 4 so we have to substitute the i value less than that um uh, less than that 4 that is i equal to if n value 4 means we have to substitute the i value 1 2 3 if n value is 2 means we have to substitute i value equal to 1 less than 1 we have to substitute so substitute h equal to 1 by 2 and i equal to 1 and that equation means we get uh, here uh, i plus 1 is uh, that is 1 plus 1 is uh, uh, 2 and um, minus 1 by 4 plus y 1 by 4 means h is 1 by 2 so square means 1 by 4 plus 2 and y i is nothing but 1 plus y i minus 1 is 0 so we get this form and if we uh, simplify means we get 4 y 2 minus 9 y 1 equal to 0 and substitute h equal to 1 by 2 i equal to 2 means we get uh, y 3 minus 9 by 4 y 2 plus y 1 equal to 0 and this can be written as uh, substitute we simplify means 4 y 3 minus 9 y 2 plus 4 y 1 equal to 0 and h equal to 1 by 2 and i equal to 3. h equal to 1 by 2 and i equal to 3 in this equation Hi, here we get y4 minus 9 by 4 y3 plus y2 equal to 0 here we how we know y4 value means because uh, the fourth value is uh, that is 2 the y of 4 is uh, nothing but y of 2 so that is 3.63 how we get 4 means we are simplifying this value and uh, if we multiply the 4 means uh, 4 into and 4 for getting cancelled 4 y2 equal to here the 4 into uh, value that is uh, minus 14.52 and then what we get means uh, if we 
uh, get this value in this side means we get minus 14.52 and we have to find the value of y1 y2 y3 and y4 so for that we need to what we do means uh, equation 3 minus 5 equation 3 is nothing but 4 y2 minus 9 uh, y1 and the equation 5 is uh, uh, y3 plus 4 y2 here this uh, 4 y2 4 y2 we can um, cancel means we get 4 y3 and y1 value so if we um, uh, minus means we get 9 y1 plus 9 y3 equal to 14.52 and uh, if we divided by 9 means we get minus y1 plus y2 a, y3 equal to 1.613 consider this as a sixth equation and uh, fourth equation and the sixth equation consider the fourth equation this is 4 y3 and y1 so here is we have to eliminate the y2 value so for that we have to multiply the sixth equation into 4 means we get uh, this form uh, minus 4 y1 plus 4 y3 equal to this value into 6 means we get this value into 4 means we get this values and if we simplify means 8 y 3 minus 9 y 2 equal to 6.4532 here also and we for that uh, sixth equation seventh equation we get uh, and the fifth equation into 9 and seventh equation into 4 means what we get means uh, um, uh, fifth equation into 9 means we get this values and uh, fifth equation this is the fifth equation into 9 means we get that value and the seventh equation into 9 means we get this value uh, we into 4 means we get this value so if we simplify means we get the uh, minus 49 y3 equal to this value and y3 equal to um, if we divide means we get y3 equal to 2.1401 we not able uh, we are not able to uh, follow this method of uh, um, this method of um, simplifications of equations we can use any simplifications what are the method you are convenient you can uh, apply this method so uh, in our college we are using this method to this uh, solutions to solve this equation so what are the method you are convenient you can use that method so for example only i am showing this method and uh, if we substitute y1 plus y1 plus 2 uh, because of, uh, from this we have to substitute the y3 value means we directly get y1 so we have to substitute y2 y3 value is 2.1401 that is y1 equal to this value and y1 is uh, 0.5268 this is our y1 value and y3 value we got it and uh, we have to substitute the y3 value this means we get directly get the uh, y2 equations so uh, y for how, where we found y1 is so y1 equal to 4 by 9 y1 equal to 4 by 9 y2 and 9 by 4 y1 equal to y2 and uh, if we divide means we get 2.25 and y1 value is this and um, if we multiply means we get y2 equal to 1.853 so here x values x value y value 0 0 0.5 1 1.52 and 0 value 0 and this is given in the question 0 and 2 and these values are we are finding that y1 value is 0 0.5268 and y1 value y2 value is 1.1853 and y3 value is 2.1401 hope you all understand and thank you for watching